Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and um, I have a review today to um, review the wool warehouse. I made a little order for wool warehouse and um, just a bit of a small one. I've never used them before. I've um, until recently never really used online um, to order my yarn. I had ordered from Derrimores, which is a UK company. I'd ordered from them a couple of times and I'd bought things from Amazon and eBay, but I'd never really used many online companies. Oh, I did order some, I'm just gonna put this down so it stops rustling. I did order some yarn from a place where, uh, I think it was called Magic Loop, or well, I think that was what it was called, and I ordered that cello walls. You might remember, those of you who have been with me for some time, I made a very sparkly shawl, and I ordered that from there. But that was about the sum total of my online experience until I made my recent ice yarn order. So it got me, uh, got me thinking, maybe I can give another one a try. And somebody said to me uh, in one of my one of my subscribers said that there was um, they had red heart, unforgettable, and it was uh, reduced to four pounds something a ball. So I thought, right, okay, I will have a look and see what they've got. And well, they had a lot more besides. And plus, I found a discount code um, thanks to another one of my subscribers, and so I got even more off. So I made this order. I didn't pay for next day delivery, and it arrived the next day. So that was pretty, maybe they're very slack at the minute, I don't know, with stuff. So um, I thought that was pretty good though, to arrive that quickly when I didn't pay specifically for the privilege. And um, the one criticism I have is that it's in a bag and that's gonna cause a lot of rustling and I can't really, can't really do anything about that guys, it's just how they've shipped it. So I ordered a blocking pad. I don't block, I've never blocked. So sometimes I think my squares or um, hexagons could benefit from it. Although when you sew them together, because they're never really that far out of shape, when, when I sew them together, they're never really that um, much of a problem. So, um, but I ordered them anyway, and I've just dropped something on the floor. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I ordered a blocking uh, pad so it's only one I know you can get lots of them and they fit together and like a puzzle for large projects but I only really wanted them for my squares and if I do need them for anything else then I can possibly order them at some point and the other thing I ordered which um, I've always wanted one of these and I've never ordered one I actually ordered a furl now I didn't go for an expensive one, it's a streamline and it's a wooden one because um, it was reasonable. It's still more expensive than any other hook that I've ever bought, £16. I thought it would be dark but it's not. Now I'm not sure I'm going to like this big fat bit here but where I hold it, it's probably not going to be too bad. So I just thought I would order this one, my one furl and uh, see how I get on with it. And I believe it's a five millimetre. Um, it's a glorious sunny day out there. So I've had to shut the curtain, which is a bit of a nightmare to, because for you, you can see quite brightly, but for me, it's not. So I'm just putting my little light on. I'll look a bit ghostly, I'm afraid, for a bit. 5.5 millimetre. And I thought I would um, get a larger one and see how I I got on with that. So you're looking forward to trying that, but at the moment I'm reviewing these um, Susan Bates hooks that my subscribers have sent me. A couple of subscribers sent me those. And um, one thing I have noticed, I had one of my own, which had a grip, you know, uh, I don't know what it's made of, but it's kind of like a foamy grip. And so, I noticed when I was using the ones without a grip, where I've been using hooks with those ergonomic grips on so long now, I was getting just a little bit of pain in this part of my hand, just along the tendons, I guess. So I ordered these and they're from Susan Bates and they go on their hooks 
and they're like little grippers now they're quite chubby so I don't know how I'll get on with them but I thought I'd review them at the same time so I'm gonna crack these babies out put them on and see how I feel about them because I've, I've always said I don't like fat hooks and that's gonna take it to quite um, a size so we'll see I've ordered those as well but I didn't get them from War Warehouse that just came through the post but I thought I'd show it to you before I get stuck in to all this lovely yarn so yeah it came in these organza bags I've got a couple of these um, so far very impressed with wool warehouse um, it's packaged well it's in nice bags which I'm going to use these as a project bag afterwards so that's pretty cool um, I would like some of them have come in cellophane and I would like them all to be in it really if I could because when I want to put this on if I want to put it on my shelf for a little while oh this is so soft um, then it's it's not going to get dusty or anything but I have look at that isn't that just the most gorgeous this is the Red Heart Unforgettable Boutique yarn where's my light here it is and it's 100 gram balls 250 meters it's finer than I imagined. I think it comes, it says it's a three weight DK, but considering we have a lot of DK in this country, I would say that is quite fine for, for a three weight, but isn't it just beautiful? It's gorgeous, I absolutely love this. Now, um, isn't it, look at those colors, I just can't stop looking at it, it's so lovely. So I'm not sure if it's gonna have a color, um, name but it's just 03965 um, it probably does have a colour name but struggling to find one on here probably did online but can't see it it's 100% acrylic but it's one of the softest acrylics that I've come across it's more like a premium acrylic it's so so soft and it smells amazing so I got two of those, I think, all together. Um, isn't it just my favourite? I love it. I love that colour. But it didn't stop there because then I saw this one. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? So I ordered some of this as well. And this one is colour 03935. And again, that's unforgettable. So same amount of yardage. And I have one of those so far i thought there's more than that although there's maybe another one in the other bag but if not i've just got the one but it's lovely i absolutely love it i ordered a couple of these now these i always call them just sheepies because you know to me it says sheepies <laughs> that's what we're gonna call it because you know i don't know how to say it other than that but it's a purple obviously that's what it looks like it's sock yarn got a picture of a sock on it it's quite fine as a sock yarn, lovely and soft. Won't be making socks though. Um, it's called Norse Sock and Wool. It's colour, obviously, but it doesn't say what the colour is. Let's have a look. Um, well, I think that's just the no, that's just their their word for colour, and it's number nine six nine. So um, that's the sheep is because i'm just going to call it sheep is uh, it's 100 grams and there's 160 meters in there and all the washing instructions are in this nice yellow part of the label so easy to see and i like that they've put their the the yardage and everything on there so it's nice and easy to see but i really like this um I'm always gonna use a lot of purple so that's cool now what's this one caron simply soft Whoa they're pretty colors i actually forgot some of the ones i just stuck in the, the box so some of them are going to be a nice surprise for me this is 25 percent more yarn so that's always a good thing turn it up the other way it's a five ounce 141 grams um and um four weight and 100 percent acrylic so that's the grams where's the yards oh well, there we are um 235 yards or 215 meters but aren't those colors lovely um it's kind of more reds and 
maroons then it's showing on the screen if I bring it back there you go that's the colors this side here isn't it lovely I really like that oh, it's falling off my lap so I've got one of those no I've got three more so I got four of those I don't know the, they must come in packs of three obviously and that one's just a little left over but I'm not sure if we've got some nice hat patterns on this uh, on the label this one's got a scarf on it so I'm wondering if they're illustrations or if they're actually got the uh, patterns on the reverse we may well have looks like they do like peering through there so there's a hat a scarf and a, the two hats and a scarf so that's that one and I got this color scheme as well and um, I've got three of these so um, if I can see what it's yeah I might be able to see without cracking the pack open but look at that colors on that isn't it beautiful I've gone really um, quite lately gone into these like multicolored yarns again 100% acrylic and a four weight and five ounce 141 grams exactly the same 235 yards or 215 meters but yeah I've got three of those and I'm wondering if that's Jamie come back because if he does he'll be bursting through the door any second and then I've got another one another little excuse the rustling another little organza bag I say little it's rather large and I do believe that I'm going to have company any second so yeah let's get crack in let's have a look open this one up and we've got some more unforgettable look at that isn't that just gorgeous because I knew they had it and it was on um, such a good price I uh, possibly went a bit crazy with it so this uh, 250 meters 100 grams um, and the color on this is 3967 and oh look there's a nice little scarf pattern there and I got this one and that's two, that's two possibly three of those <laughs> I got two of this one I like this it's just to kind of um, you know black and white with grey isn't that lovely so that colour oh no that may have just been a parcel for next door which is good so I'm not going to get interrupted uh, this colour is 3970 the meters and yards etc still exactly the same but isn't that beautiful I love that one so then I got some of this this one I think was just called like coffee and cream as I remember but isn't it beautiful look at those colors it's got looks like it's got a purple vibe on that uh, there oh it does isn't it lovely so this one <laughs> like a kid in the candy store here yeah, is 3972 for the color but I got one of those maybe one and then I got this one which I love the colors on this it actually looks a little bit richer when you see it up close and personal so the camera's bleaching it out just a little bit there and I got about four of those there's another one and another one and this one's color if you want to know this one is oh upside down 3974 and um, the colors are a little bit richer than they're showing on the screen but they are beautiful and it reminded me of a yarn oh I've got another one of those so that's good it reminded me and another one of those fabulous yep sorry I'm getting distracted it reminded me of that um, groove is in the yarn color that I made the hat from bag a day it was called her uh, rain must fall hat which is a queen song I know you'll be shocked but it is and uh, that was um, lovely absolutely lovely hat easy to make and then I got this and this is just beautiful this is illusion double knitting from Hayfield and I've got a couple of these are quite big balls I'll put those over there for a minute so that I can show you these they've got lovely colors in them all the kind of reds and pinks well all different shades but isn't it lovely this is actually 
coming up is quite a bright red for me. If I pull it back, it may, may come up the right colours. But yeah, aren't they lovely? So let me tell you what this is. Illusions, Illusion Double Knitting by Hayfield. 100 gram ball gives you 285 metres or 312 yards. That's quite good. 100% acrylic. Very, very soft. And it is machine washable and tumble dryable, which is unusual. But this is lovely and soft. I really like that one. That's lovely. I didn't see this one in Hobbycraft when I um, did my Hobbycraft shop and they do Hayfield in there. I've never seen, oh, that's better. Never seen Hayfield, um, that one at all. So, and then lastly, I got these. These cakes, aren't they gorgeous? And this is the Lion Brand Homespun, which I've never clapped eyes on in this country before. Um, I want to get one out because it's only taped. Let me get it open without damaging. I don't want to damage the uh, packaging. So I'm going to try and do it back up again. But I've never used this homespun. I've heard people mention it before. Oh, that is lovely. That is really soft. It feels a bit like a... You know when you snuzzle a really fluffy dog like a poodle? That's what that feels like. It just feels... all Because it's all crinkly. No doubt people will tell me what it really is. But uh, it's called Stripes. Sorry if I looked a bit scary and ghostly then. So this is called New Look homespun it's six ounces which is 170 grams or 185 yards and it's 98 percent acrylic and two percent other fibers i don't know what that is other fibers maybe it is poodle but it is a bulky five or we call it a chunky and it's called the cat's meow and as i'm a cat lady and i think it really is the cat's meow isn't that lovely caught my eye this one just had to have some so i've got three of those and again there's a nice scarf pattern that you can try it looks crocheted actually that one so yeah i got three of those enough to do something with and um well that's it that's my my i was going to say little yarn haul but it's not quite as so little just make sure there's nothing left in my bag no so yeah i'm quite excited to try the furl Although that does look like a big fat handle and it's actually called Streamline. But maybe not Slimline, which is what I probably thought it was going to be. So I'll try it anyway. And if I'm not keen, could possibly end up as a giveaway. That would be popular, wouldn't it? So thanks for watching, everyone. That's um, going to have fun sorting through this. And uh, wow, I never want I'm going to get you around to using some of it. Let's see what this says because I've got my I've got my little blurb here. I was quite surprised actually just how little this all cost me. I won't tell you the exact cost, but everything was um, pretty much good value. And with my 20% discount code, I got another little chunk off. I got another £12.50 off. Not bad, not bad at all. So thanks to whoever came up with the discount code. And uh, and for the person who told me about the unforgettable, which I can't say I haven't got any now, can I really? I did have a couple of balls that Kat, Kit sent me from all things crochet and knit with Kit. We did a yarn swap and she sent me a couple of balls. But I've got a fair amount to try now, so I'm going to uh, enjoy using that. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And you'll be informed when I've got some new videos. I've got loads of tutorials that I've just uploaded this last few uh, few weeks. There's been quite a lot. And I do have some more to do. I'm going to be doing the border for the blanket um, the, that I've been doing as a crochet along. I'm going to make a little swatch and show you my border idea. Which you don't have to follow, but it might look nice. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.